Hi, this is David from Marzaman Engineering and this is a short video I would like to introduce you the Ramp Soak new feature on top of Smart Thermostat app. Through this feature you can define and manage a full temperature profile instead of setting it just a single set point and change it manually you can move your set point from one value to another and increase decrease temperature according to ramp definition as well you can keep your temperature stable for a defined length in the soak period there are two implementation of this algorithm called static and dynamic in the static execution the soak time starts when the ramp time finish and this is independent from current temperature as you see in the graph here you have two set point set point one set point two and the two soak time soak time two starts independently from the temperature when the ramps ends and the dynamic execution instead the soak time starts when temperature reaches the set point so it is a synchronous process here you see soak to starts immediately when the current temperature overcomes the set point two these two methods allow you to manage different process and also process where the power is not able to follow perfectly your set point Let's see now how it works in practice, the ramp soak new feature with the apps of the simulator. Here you have the top level menu, a new menu will appear and this has been implemented to manage all the profile definition. Let's enter the ramp soak menu and here you can manage your profile. Uh, insert a new profile, edit an existing one or delete or simply view the value of your profile. I have already defined the profile so let's see how it is built. The profile are, have an index 1 to 10, you can load profile 1 and see the construction. Each profile is made by a set point temperature and a soak time. So this is the soak time is the time where the temperature as is a constant while the ramp time is the time to go from one set point to another set point in this case we start from 30 degrees set point one and we keep this temperature for 30 seconds then the profile says go to 40 degrees and the ramp in one minute from 30 to 40 we keep this 40 degrees for 30 seconds so Two. and then again we go to set point three 50 degrees in this case i put the ramp time to equals zero this means that the change from 40 to 50 is more or less instant so we have a step more than a ramp then we keep 50 degrees for 40 seconds and so on for all the other uh, steps you can define up to eight points in your profiles. Once you have defined your profile, as I said before, you can save for or simply over, override an existing one. Let's go back to the main menu. The run mode has been modified, adding a second level menu. In standard mode, nothing changed. You can run your controller in PID or on-off mode as usual so without any profile just put your set point you can change that manually in your process in advanced mode you are requested to load and associate a profile already defined to the channel please remember that you have two channels Depend, completely independent so in theory you can assign two different profiles to you to each channel in this case the profile is not loaded let's load the profile profile one is already defined and associate to channel zero same story if you want to add a profile a different profile to channel one once you have 
done the association, you can enter really the run mode. So you remember the first uh, the temperature, the first set point was 30 degrees, and this will be kept for 30 seconds. The timer starter, and you will see when the counter up we reach 30 seconds the ramp will start in this case by chance the t1 the current temperature is over the set point so the output is zero no output here it is we reach the uh, the, the end of the sock time and the ramp starts now the temperature will be increased from 30 to 40 in 30 seconds of course now the temperature exceeds the the current temperature and you see the pin regularly start works you can start hitting the solid step relay start working let's maybe increase a little bit the temperature it's not relevant we are simulating the process the important thing is that in 30 seconds the set point moves from 30 to 40. The growth of temperature is completely linear so the algorithm calculates the time and the slope of the ramp. Here it is and now if I remember again other 30 seconds at 40 degrees a new timer is started. Let's suppose that the temperature follows a set point, we reach the set point, in this asynchronous way there is no correlation between the profile, so the ramp, the soak and the current temperature, even if the temperature is not reached, the starting point. Here you see we jump directly to 50 degrees from 40 to 50 and then other 30 seconds starts. Let's suppose we increase again the temperature. So you see that through the profile mechanism you can modify the set point with the speed and the value you desire in your process. In the last if, it, if this is the last step, the temperature then is kept stable to this value. Let's go back, exit the process. So that's uh, there's another parameter in configuration. You can decide in the process parameter if the ramp soak is static. So the the time flows independently from the temperature or you can want to start the soak time whenever the set point the temperature reach the set point this is the dynamic mode that's all hope you like this nice feature quite useful if you have a process like a reflow oven or a fermentation chamber or any process that needs to be controlled with not a static value of the temperature but needs to be controlled with a temperature profile. Thanks you for watching and thank you for supporting the Smart Build project.